well, glad to see you here this morning, especially for visiting. We love having visitors. We hope that you enjoy the service. Uh, we'd love to know that you're here if you're visiting, if you're here for the baptism, or just to check out Rooftop, or whatever. We just want to know that you're here so we can send you a nice little gift, and thank you for coming, because we know it takes a lot of guts to try a new church, and we want to just affirm your courage in doing that. So uh, give us your contact information on the blue info card, and we'll also send you an email, if you give us your email address, a response form, because we love getting some feedback and figure out how we can keep growing and learning as a church. So anyway, like I said, and like Jason said and Jeremy earlier at the service, we get to have a baptism this morning, which is super cool. Because baptism is the thing that Jesus told his followers to do when he told his disciples to go into the world, making disciples, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Baptism is, in our opinion at least, and there's lots of disagreements about this, but that's not what we're talking about this morning. Baptism is just an outward symbol of a really important thing that happens inside. When someone becomes a follower of Christ, they're forgiven of their sins, they get washed of all that guilt, all that shame. They take hold of the promise of new life in Christ. That's why we baptize them in the water. We bring them up out of the water. We don't leave them down there. We bring them up to live a new life in Christ to take hold of the promise of the resurrection. So every time we see a baptism, we get to be reminded of that. It's what it means to be a follower of Christ. It means to be completely washed of our guilt and our shame and to take hold of the promise of new life in Christ, which will last forever. So that's super cool. And this morning, we get to baptize a very special young man. His name is Isaac Welty. So may I welcome Isaac Welty to the stage. And his dad, that's Jake. So, yay, Jake. So, just so you know, when, you know, we baptize, our opinion towards baptism here is if you, if you can understand what it means to be a follower of Jesus Christ at even the basic level, then, you know, get baptized because I think that's all it requires. But, you know, when kids come to us and say, I want to get baptized, I'm like, yeah, sure you want to get baptized. How much do you want to get baptized? Do you want to get baptized enough to maybe do some homework? And I gave you some homework, right? And did you do the homework? Looked up some verses? made an appointment with the pastor. We sat down. We talked about your homework, right? And he just saw the process through. I said, well, I have no reason not to baptize Isaac Welty, so he's going to get baptized this morning. But first, he has some words he wants to share with you. Hello, my name is Isaac. On June 11th, I went to a Chris Tomlin concert at Six Flags, and that was when I realized that I wanted to give my life to Jesus. So today, I'm going to be baptized to show the world that I belong to him. That's it. Good job, buddy. Anybody else get saved at a Chris Tomlin concert? Yeah? All right, so we're going to pray for Isaac, and then his dad's going to take him on back and get you dunked. Ready? Let's pray. Father, thank you for Isaac. Thank you for his testimony. It's very simple. Uh, he knows that he's a sinner, and he wants to be saved by the blood of Jesus. Jesus gave his life for him so that he could be forgiven of our sins and pour your Holy Spirit into his life and give him strength and courage to face the challenges of a life of faith. I pray that you continue to build him up as a follower, as a leader, that he can lead his friends and neighbors and everybody he meets in his life a little closer towards you. Thank you for his parents, their faithfulness at raising him as a young little saint. I thank you for Jesus and for your Holy Spirit. We pray these things in his name. Amen. All right, head on back. All right. So I now baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. So you too can have your sins forgiven by Jesus Christ. We'd love to talk to you about that. If you're interested in getting baptized at any point, just use your blue info card. Let us know. We'll give you some homework, and we'll see how much you want it. And uh, maybe we'll schedule an appointment, talk to you about it. 